tuck is really easy to do. Just right here in the cab area, put red. Let that set for a minute and chill. Then, well, I'll go ahead and show you even though it's not set for a minute. Logs, of course, brown. I don't have any black mixed up, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the tires chocolate too. And then you can pop these on a cupcake. That's really cool. Also, I did this the other day. I took these roses and I filled them halfway full and then I put peanut butter and confectionery sugar together and made peanut butter centers and it was so good. Okay, we're going to cut for a minute and I'll come back and pop these out in a minute. All right, we've let these set for a few minutes, or like I said, you can pop them in the freezer and we're gonna pop them out. There's the sunflower and my new seashells. And you can put the pearl dust on these and it makes them really cool. There's a large seashell, new. Let's see how the giraffe turned out. And then like, this is a good technique for popping these bigger ones out. And these molds can also be used for resin, push molds, and different things too. There's the bulldozer, cute for little boys. I'll sh show you here in a second, putting the powder on them. Cute button doing the two-tone. Rose button. I just wanted to take a second and show you that when you cast these things in the chocolates are either fondant, either one, you can get these really cool pearl glimmers that are edible. And you just brush them on and it just makes everything really cool. Let's see, this one is pink. Let me show you what it looks like to put it on, like this pink button. And this is edible. I, I had no idea they made so many edible glitters and paints. See what a nice finish it gives your piece. Ooh, I just accidentally cut pearl on this one, so I guess I'll put some glitter on it too. And then you can sprinkle the top of your cupcakes with some glitter and put one of these flowers on there and be really cool.